Who is Preston Smiles? Preston Smiles is a messenger of love sent here to remind us all of the one truth, which is love is all there is, was, and ever will be. I'd also consider myself to be a conscious businessman, a embodiment and personal freedom coach, a family man, a father, a husband. When I was 25, I, I, I got sick. I got a heart condition that came up. You know, you can mess with anything. You can mess with your arm, you can mess with your liver, you can mess with a bunch of stuff, but if your heart goes out, you're done. And so I got scared enough that I made drastic changes in my life because I did not want to uh, take pills, which is what the cardiologist at that time told me I was gonna be doing for the rest of my life. Because my grandmother and other people in my family had died from heart disease, this was a thing that I was gonna have to be aware of. And at that point, I didn't understand epigenetics. I didn't understand that we get the same diseases as our mothers, fathers, grandparents, not because they're passed down, but because we are thinking the same, acting the same, eating the same. The, the traumas are passed down generationally, even from the womb. We're, we're, we're literally taking with us what happened to our great, 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 great grandmother. My girlfriend at the time, uh, her mother said, hey Preston, I know you're dyslexic and I know you don't read, but I have this book called uh, Ask and It Is Given by Jerry and Esther Hicks and I think that you would love it. And I was so desperate that I took the book. So give me the book. And I'll, I'll never forget this, I read maybe three pages. And it said, your thoughts become things and you create your own reality. And I remember getting so mad because I was 25 and I never heard that in my life. I have a master's degree and nobody in my family, nobody on TV, nobody in the movies, nobody ever says any of those things. So how is it that I'm just finding out that my thoughts become things and I create my own reality? Well, that was a huge wake up call because from that point forward, I became voracious um, with filling my cup and giving from the overflow. And in doing so, I created room, I created space, I created energetic real estate uh, in my uh, physical life and in my emotional life. My container was open. I became this beacon, if you may, in my friend groups. People around Hollywood, people in the, in the scene that I was in would say, hey, you know, if you're really going through something, go to pee. Preston's like, you know, one of those people that's really tapped in and he can help you with your problems. And so I became this life coach without knowing I was a life coach. And I was doing it for free all the time. And people were seeing the results because I was using these principles and these things like we are perfect, whole and complete, but not finished. We are unique emanations of the most high and everything about us is beautiful. Around that time, I realized that uh, people were life coaching as a career um, and so I created this thing called the love mob which was organized acts of love and we were gonna do these giant flash mobs and different events in the name of love I was doing free talks for 14 year old kids and I would I would go to the ghetto and do a free talk there and I would go to different schools and I was just piggybacking anything I could get my hands on. One day I was having a conversation with a friend about how I was tired of answering the same questions. Then I was thinking about doing this thing called YouTube. Uh, it's fairly new, but I think that if I just put some of these principles, like how to let go and let God, if I make these videos and I put them on the internet, then my friends won't keep asking me for free coaching. And so I created this YouTube channel um, called Questions with Preston. This is just me doing my thing and people finding me. And one day I heard from a friend that he was working with this particular camera guy uh, named Justin. And Justin, who's actually behind the camera right now, could shoot you on the move. And I was like, yo, I am so energetic. I have so much energy. 
that is the type of person that I need to shoot with because this static sort of like sitting here thing, yes, it works, but bro, I got a lot of energy. And uh, Justin and I hooked up and we made the decision and we went to shoot at the beach in Santa Monica. And I'll never forget this. We shot the, the first couple videos. One was on sharpening your ax. And, and then I did this thing where I jumped out of a swing set. And, and then we got closer down to Venice Beach. And I was gonna do this video on what we call analysis paralysis. And that was the moment for me that to, in so many ways changed everything. Because that video was, I was so in the pocket, I was so connected, I was so dropped in and we were in and out of the water and we were just in a deep flow, right? You ever just get in a dance with somebody and it just feels effortless. And so we were in this deep flow and then I attracted in the Love Mob days this, this editor named Pavel. And so between Justin, myself and Pavel, it was like we were this like organism, this Picasso painting this beautiful masterpiece that was gonna to touch the hearts and souls of thousands of people across this planet. And we didn't know it at the time, and yet we did. Like there was something happening, right? I couldn't, I couldn't even tell you now what prompted all of these things to happen like they did, but they did. I started uh, getting a lot of comments on this particular video. And the video literally, I think it went up to like 60,000 views. Like I had like 100. 500 and then 60,000 like it just blew up and I started getting these comments particularly from Australia and there's this this Particular woman named Sarah who said hey, we have a big conference and we'd love to bring you out to speak and I didn't even Like I didn't even think about it that much. I just commented back like hey, here's my email Give me some of the details and we'll see Well little did I know that this was a, a huge MLM and they were gonna have their conference and it was 6,500 people. And I was gonna be their keynote speaker if I said yes for quite a bit of money and fly to Australia for the first time and go on this month-long adventure with my beautiful now wife, then girlfriend, Alexi, who I had manifested into my life during six months of celibacy. So this, is, this, is, this, this story is absolutely crazy. And so to make a long story short, uh, since then I've written two books, both by Simon & Schuster, one called Love Louder, 33 Ways to Amplify Your Life, another one called Now or Never, Your Epic Life in Five Steps. I've uh, facilitated over 200 workshops uh, across this planet, from London to Africa to Costa Rica to uh, LA to New Zealand, uh, helping transform lives everywhere we go. Um, I've uh, done speeches for 6,500 people, 1,000 people, 600 people. I've, I've had people tell me they were on the verge of suicide and they broke through and had a new thought about themselves because of my videos. I've been able to be the proud father of three beautiful children and uh, really just be a beacon, uh, an example of what it means to be a conscious man. I have multiple groups, including Man Cave, uh, Conscious Man Brotherhood, Kaboom Coaching, Amplify, Stretch 22, all of these things are, this is thousands of people that I've been able to coach and support uh, in my programs. And I say this not to impress you, but to impress upon you how important it is that you just take the step you're taking. How important it is that you step forward and say yes to what is handwritten on your soul. How important it is that you understand that this is not just about you. We all have a divine, unique curriculum that is handwritten on our soul. And it's only revealed on a need to know basis. And all of us, uh, all of us have one purpose. And that is to reveal God's love in the way that only we can. And a part of that is gonna be some pain. A part of it is gonna be some extreme high heights of joy. Some of it's gonna be some, some apathy, some sadness, some anger, some, all of those things come with this journey. And yet I tell you this, and I tell you no lies, if you keep doing it from alignment, you keep doing it from love, you will never, ever fail. From my heart to yours, I appreciate you. I see you, you matter. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice. It's going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh, ooh, rah, rah.
Let's go.